Ukraine is increasingly replacing people at the front with combat robots. Ukraine is massively using robots at the front to destroy Russian occupiers in order to overcome the shortage of people in the armed forces of Ukraine. According to The Telegraph, this new type of warfare that Ukraine is developing relies more heavily on unmanned and remotely controlled robotic systems than ever before. For months now, Ukrainian troops have been using robots for a variety of purposes, from destroying bridges to delivering supplies to the front lines and evacuating wounded soldiers. There is a great hope that these technological developments will save the lives of Ukrainian military personnel, easing the burden of an acute manpower shortage that experts warn will worsen. The publication writes. Thus, the publication writes about one of the cases when Russian infantrymen tried to seize a Ukrainian bunker in the Avdiivka area of the Donetsk region. The invaders came under intense and accurate machine gunfire, but were stopped by a barrage of return mortar and small arms fire. When the machine gunner's position was eventually overrun, the Russians discovered that their enemy was nothing more than a piece of metal. Most likely, it was one of the combat robots that slowly deploy along the entire front line, writes the Telegraph. Some are equipped with 7.62mm PKT and PKM machine guns, while others are designed for heavier operations and are equipped with 12.7mm Browning machine guns capable of hitting targets over a kilometre away. Ground-based drones can also be equipped with night vision cameras and additional armour to protect them from small arms fire. With their help, the Ukrainian armed forces carry out combat missions including assaults while their operators are located in underground shelters at a distance of about two and a half miles. Thus, the Shablia M2 stationary remote machine gun is mainly used to replace long shifts of Ukrainian soldiers in defence work. The unmanned ground vehicles called Ratel S and Ark 1 can deliver 40 kilograms of explosives under a tank or bunker at a speed of 15 miles per hour. The reusable version can carry and deploy up to two TM62 anti tank mines on Russian positions or logistics routes, artificially intelligent targeting systems that do not require human interaction are also being developed to counter Russian electronic warfare jamming that is disrupting communications between drones and their operators. The temporarily occupied Crimea is restless again. On the night of May 30 a series of explosions rang out in Kerch. This is reported by local telegram channels. The occupiers blocked traffic with the illegally built Crimean bridge, but it was later restored. A resident of occupied Kerch told Sespilno in a comment that there were at least six explosions in the city. It's very loud in the city right now. Six to seven explosions of approximately the same force were heard. The windows in the house shook a little, said a resident of Kerch. The main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine attacked occupiers' boats in the temporarily occupied Crimea. We are probably talking about vessels of the KS-701 Tuna type. According to the UP, citing sources in the special services, the boats were attacked by maritime drones of the Magura V-5 GUR. The attacks took place near the village of Chernomorskoy, Epitoria region. The enemy actively used aviation, small arms and artillery to counter the attack, but to no avail, the source noted. According to SPMI sources, Crimea was attacked with missiles and drones. Two ferries were damaged in the Kerch Strait. According to the Minister of Transport of the Annexed Peninsula, Nikolai Lukashenko, car and railway ferries were damaged by debris from downed missiles. There are no casualties among sailors or civilians. After assessing the damage, the ferry crossing will be resumed, Lukashenko wrote in his telegram channel. Residents of Kerch reported that they heard about 20 explosions in the city at night, writes the Russian telegram channel Astra. The Ukrainian TV channel Suspiln reported, citing a local resident, that six explosions occurred in Kerch. During the attack, traffic on the Crimean bridge was blocked for about an hour. The Russian Ministry of Defense said that at night air defense systems shot down eight Atakms missiles over the Azov Sea and intercepted eight drones over the Black Sea near Crimea.